Hey everyone, I'm going to show you a quick demo explaining how it's faster than ever to develop your BI tool using LightDash. So as you can see here, I already have a LightDash instance up and running. I have a DBT project set up. I've connected it to LightDash and we're here looking at it. So if I go back to my DBT project just to check it out, I have an example model and an example YAML file. And if we go back to LightDash, we can see there's a bunch of these tables here in the sidebar. Now, these tables are pulled directly from your DBT project and they match one to one with the models that you've defined in your DBT project. So if we click on one of these tables, for example, pages, we can see that there's a bunch of dimensions and then metrics defined in these tables. Now, these dimensions are just the columns that you've defined in your DBT project and these metrics are also defined in your DBT project. So I keep talking about these YAML files because LightDash is actually directly connected to your DBT projects. So that means that you no longer need to like maintain changes across a bunch of systems or you get to keep all of your business logic just in one place. And a really good example of this is something like your docs. So your docs, I'm sure you spent tons of time on writing, are pulled directly into LightDash. So here's an example for a dimension, same goes for a metric and also for our tables. Um, now the tables that you actually see are directly linked to your models in DBT, as I said before. So that means that you don't need to pull in these new models into your BI tool. You're actually able to just kind of sync them directly with your DBT project. And in this demo, I'm going to give an example of how we add a new dimension to something like our pages model, and then how we can build a chart in LightDash using that new dimension that we've just added. So let's get started. I have my pages model, as I said here, and then the YAML file here, and I'm going to add a new column called website version because we've updated our website. So I want to see the number of page views before and after our website update. So I've saved my model and then I'm going to use the light dash CLI to do light dash DBT run and then my model. Now the light dash CLI is a tool that we built to make it really easy to develop with light dash. So unlike DBT run light dash run DBT run, not only runs DBT, but it also updates our YAML file, which as we've learned is one of the most important things with syncing with light dash. So everything's just kept in sync really easily and really quickly. So it's completed. It's generated our YAML files. Let's go check it out. And there it is, our new website version. So in our YAML file here, all of the columns that we've defined, as I said before, will be available for us to explore in Light Dash. This is also the place where we define all of our metrics. So this is great. We have our new dimension here, but I'm not actually sure if this dimension is what I expected um, or if it's what I'm like looking for or whatever. So I'm going to run dbt compile to recompile my project and then I'm going to use a command that we've built in the light dash CLI called light dash preview. And what light dash preview does is it spins up a preview environment for us so that we can look at all the changes that we've made in our dbt project and check that they make sense. Um, unlike before where I'd have to, you know, go to BigQuery or go through a review process only to figure out that I'd broken something when it's merged in my production environment. Now I can just spin up my dev environment, look at my changes and check to make sure everything's good to go before I go through a review process. So I have my new dimension here. I'm going to look at the page view count and just, you know, sense check, right? Like the newer version should be lower than the older version. So that makes sense. Uh, 1,820 views, which is great for the first week, but yeah, it makes sense to me. This dev environment's useful when you're trying to check metrics or dimensions and just making sure that things are working the way you're expecting. So I'm happy with what it's done. Um, I'm going to shut down my preview environment and now I'm going to actually deploy these changes to my production instance so that I can go ahead and start building charts and dashboards and sharing this with the rest of my team. So just like that, it's deployed all of my changes from my DBT project to my light dash instance. And if we head to our pages table and we now have our website version, and then I'm going to run page view count, run my query, check out my beautiful chart. Uh, maybe I want to filter to only look at page views from the new version. So I'm going to add a filter here, maybe change this to a big number. 
and then share this with my team as the total number of page views that our new website has gotten. I can save this chart, I can add it to a dashboard, I can share it with the link. There's a bunch of ways to share this, but yeah, in under five minutes, I've gone from creating a new dimension or column in my DBT project all the way to creating a chart using that dimension in Light Dash. So I think it's safe to say that developing in your BI is faster than ever, and you can build charts in just a few clicks in Light Dash. So this development experience is faster than it's ever been, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys.